it's Michelle and welcome back to Bella Branch DIY. Hope everybody's having an awesome week. I have some really cute Valentine projects. Actually, they're, they're DIYs that you can keep up all year long. One of them is right there and it's a really cute uh, I love you framed canvas that is really cute. So I have three projects for you guys and I think we should just get started. Let's go. Valentine's Day project number one is a DIY embroidered heart. And I put this on my sleeve on the shoulder because I thought it looked so cute. First, you're gonna take a little piece of paper and you're gonna make a little heart template. And I'm pretty sure most of you know how to do this where you fold the paper in half and then you draw half the heart and then you're gonna cut that out and that's gonna become your template. And then I have some red felt and I use the template to cut out the heart. Now you're gonna take some iron-on fusible webbing, and this is what you're gonna to use to iron on your heart to the sleeve to keep it in place while you embroider. You don't have to use this step, but I find it easier so it doesn't move and it makes it easier to work on. So first you're gonna cut out the fusible webbing and then you put it on the back of your heart and then you're gonna iron it to the area where you want. And you don't rub the iron, you kind of just pat it for like 10 seconds in each spot. Then you peel it off and you're gonna see it's shiny because that part is gonna now iron onto the fabric. Now I'm gonna use the template that I used to cut out my heart and I'm gonna draw the word love and it'd be cute with any word on there. And then what I did was that is basically so that I could see when I redraw it on the heart, what it's gonna look like. Next, you're gonna take some embroidery floss and you're gonna fold it in half and knot it at one end. And then you're gonna pull it through at the beginning of your L on the love. And then you're gonna go about a quarter inch or a half inch past it pull it through, but what you're gonna do is you see how I'm pulling it through in the middle of the two pieces of the embroidery string. And you're just gonna keep doing that, and that's a chain stitch. It's super easy. and just continue on until you get to the end of your word. And when you come to the end of embroidering the word love, you are then going to pull it through and you're gonna double knot it underneath. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a little stitch and before you pull it tight, you're gonna put the needle in the loop and you're gonna do that twice and then cut it and that's a double knot. Now I took some more of the floss and I picked kind of a really pale, pale mint color. It's kind of hard to see it. Um, it's not really showing it as minty as it is. And we're gonna do a whip stitch around there. And basically all that is, is you're gonna take your needle and you're gonna pull it through from the bottom right into the edge of the heart and then flip it over onto the pink fabric right there and pull it back through onto the red fabric. So it's kind of edging it all the way around and that's like a whip stitch. And it's not supposed to be perfect, it's supposed to look really cool like this, where it's kind of like, looks like it's handmade. Project number two for Valentine's Day is a DIY I Love You canvas. And I made these for my hubby uh, that go over our bed. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make a little version of what I did. So first we're gonna take a canvas and we're gonna just cover it in white. And I did that before, and then I took a kind of an off-white and covered it. And then you're gonna let it dry and cover the entire canvas with black. Then you're gonna take your white paint and you're gonna cover the black surface and do a couple coats of that. And you want it to look textured, so don't make it look perfect. Then you're gonna take some white and add a little black to it after this, the white portion is dried and you're gonna gently put a little bit of this throughout so it just kind of looks a little bit distressed. Next, you're gonna take a fine brush and you're gonna use the black and you're gonna start writing whatever you want on here. 
And I wrote darling and then I love you, I love you all the way throughout the whole painting. And then after you finish this, you're gonna wanna trim it so it's framed. So we're gonna take a trip to Home Depot and we're gonna pick some lattice up. And the lattice is giant, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a piece of that and then you can cut it right there in the store. They have like a little miter box usually in the same row. And you're gonna wanna remember to bring your canvas with you to the store so that you can measure the edges. And I unfortunately lost some footage before I stained and put the canvas together with the frame. So I pulled it apart and I'm gonna kinda show you backwards. So just for this technique, I'm gonna show you how you stain the wood and I'm gonna use a paint stick, which is a similar color as the lattice. And you're just gonna water down like a brown tone or whatever tone you would like for the stain and you're gonna use that as a stain. And then next, you're going to put on your pieces. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with one side and then we're gonna use uh, carpet tacks is what I use on there because they're so rustic looking. And you're gonna hammer the carpet tacks into the side of the frame. And then what you're gonna wanna remember is kind of, uh, you're gonna want it to go about a half inch over the canvas so that it's the canvas is kind of inset there. And then after you put the two opposite sides of the wood, you're gonna put the next one on top and you see how it overhangs so it fits right on top of the edges of the two opposite pieces of wood. So that is what you wanna also keep in mind when you're measuring at Home Depot before you cut it. I love the way these turn out and they look like they're from a high-end store and all these projects that I have are projects that aren't necessarily just for Valentine's Day. They can be up all year round like I have. Next Valentine project is project number three is a DIY driftwood heart that you can hang on the wall. What you'll need is some driftwood hot glue and just a backing which I'm using cardboard. So I'm going to take a sharpie and make the size and the shape of the heart that I want to cover with driftwood and the driftwood I have two versions one is with found driftwood and then the one I'm going to show you how to make is with driftwood that you can purchase and I'll have a link in the description below so you're just going to cover the whole piece with driftwood pieces and there's no rhyme or reason you just kind of kind of collage it on here and then you're going to layer it also so it's going to have some nice texture and just keep in mind when you're adding your driftwood pieces that you want to overhang the pieces of driftwood over the cardboard base so that you don't see the cardboard. It's such a cute project and it's so pretty. Then you're gonna take a piece of twine and you're gonna hot glue that to the back and that is going to be how you hang it on the wall. It turned out so cute. This version that's above my bed was with the found driftwood and then this is the one that I purchased. I hope you guys love today's DIYs. I think they turned out awesome. And these are projects, remember, that you can keep up all year long. At the end of the video, I'm gonna have a link to last week's video. I have some free printables that you can use so you don't have to get any supplies. All you need is a printer. So there's some cards, some date night, coupons, some other cool stuff. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I put the little tag right there. It's also Bella Branch DIY. I hope you guys loved everything. Until next time, bye.